Welcome back. Here's this aircraft taking off and immediately heading to the left and disappears behind those trees and stalls into the hangars. And it's always surprising you see aircraft take off and land every day. And I'm sure everyone was shocked to see this aircraft immediately start heading off course. So we're going to find out what happened on this NTSB final report from Camarillo, California, August 18th, 2022. So the accident occurred as the pilot was taking off from an ultralight runway. Portions of the takeoff and accident were captured on a security video, which we just saw. The airplane became airborne, and as seen in the video, it climbed and did a left turn. As the airplane ascended to about treetop level, the bank angle increased to greater than 60 degrees as the airplane turned about 90 degrees off the runway heading. The airplane then descended out of view from the trees and the airplane became to rest inverted on top of the airport hangar and was substantially damaged. The pilot stated he had not flown the airplane for years and could not recall what happened during the flight. A witness stated that the pilot told him that after the accident that he stalled the airplane and that there was nothing wrong with the airplane. Examination of the wreckage found no anomalies. So fires on scene. This is an E1 Titan. This thing carries about 1,500 gallons of water and some foam. And then there's these bumper turrets that have 300 gallons per minute. This roof turret up here is 750 gallons per minute. They have the separate generator to get these lights if you're working at night. And then another hand line here and some hand lines from the side. So pretty good uh, vehicle to work with. This was the tail number. Uh, November 995 Golf Sierra. It was this 1999 uh, Banty Butterfly. Um, and I give credit to anybody who wants to jump into this thing. Not only do they fly it, but they built it themselves. So these are kind of the plans that people can go off of. And then you get the materials and you basically build this aircraft. And then you can uh, get an engine for it and go ahead and fly it. So um, good on the pilots to not only build it and fly it. I definitely wouldn't do it. And it was at this Camarillo airport. And you can see these hangars here. This is where the ultralight uh, park is. So I believe it was in one of these. As we can see here, there's the aircraft as it went through. Um, the one on board did survive but was uh, flown out. So again, here's the aircraft up close. Not much to it. And again, fire is going to get on scene and cordon off the area. You don't want to make sure that, you know, no one's getting into the airport because the runway is probably still open. And then you want to go ahead. You can see how many people respond to these aircraft uh, accidents. So thank you to the Ventura Fire Department. But you can see the medics are on scene, but I believe because they were flown out, if they weren't critically injured, they would have just took them in the on the ground ambulance. But because they might have been in bad shape when they, at least when they initially um, got to them, then they flew them out. But ultralight crash camera airport one critical was extricated and transported to the hospital. So the probable cause on this one is the pilot's failure to maintain proper airspeed and his exceedance of the airplane's critical angle of attack, which resulted in an aerodynamic stall. So thanks everybody for watching. If you want to see more final reports, you can always watch it here. This is Arfaram Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.